You I didn't run away. I wanted to find worse. Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. I told Rose last week that she should change the bulb. This is what happens when you get sloppy. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must... Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lock. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Something all right. Don't worry. That diner was a real I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An 
old generator had been connected to the power cable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. Alex! Alex! Where are you? Help! It's all right. I'm coming. What the hell? Help me! Alex! No! No! Ah! Stay away from me! Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh, no! from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. <laughs> 